The Karnataka High Court appeals to students to avoid religious dresses in schools and maintain calm. Hijab case hearing to resume on Monday now. Until then, students have to follow what the schools prescribe as a dress code. Karnataka Minister Ishwarappa triggers a massive controversy, claims saffron flag will replace the national flag in the coming years. Congress says this exposes the BJP's mindset. A petrol bomb is hurled at the BJP office in Chennai. The arrested accused claims he was upset with the BJP's support for the NEET medical exam. Saffron party demands an NIA pro. Battle for Uttar Pradesh kicks off with a 60% voter turnout in Phase 1 polling on 58 seats. Poll dates for Manipur revised to February 28, March 5th. UP versus Kerala war erupts after Yogi Adityanath claims his state will turn into Kerala if people vote for the opposition. Pindrai Vijayan hits back, says UP will have the best education and health services if it becomes like Kerala. MOS home, Ajay Mishra, Taini's son gets bail in the Lakhimpur violence case. Key accused Ashish Mishra out of jail after four months. Reserve Bank of India keeps key interest rates unchanged at record low, says its biggest challenge is controlling inflation. India revises guidelines for international arrivals. No pre-departure RT-PCR required for fully vaccinated. Seven-day quarantine norm also ends from February 14th. Russia begins military drills with Belarus. United States calls a 10-day drill an escalatory action amidst tension over Ukraine.